On today's Cooking with Drag Queens, we're making arroz con pollo, Puerto Rican style chicken and rice, with the loud and proud Lola Von Miramar. Lola is the drag creation of associate professor Larry LaFontaine, who teaches queer Latino studies at the University of Michigan. La 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 la, chicken, chicken, chicken death. This chicken is gonna be so tender and so delicious doing the can can. Cha 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 cha. La 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 la. This is Mark. He likes to cook. This is his husband, Fausto. He loves to eat. For years on Feast of Fun, they have been hanging out with the fiercest of queens. The people are still hungry for more, so it's time to set this kitchen on fire. Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store. Feastoffun.com slash store. One of my favorite dishes from my home of Puerto Rico is arroz con pollo, or as we say in English, rice and chicken. This dish is fantastic and is always made during people's birthday parties or for holidays when you need to feed a lot of people. Because chicken and rice goes very far. And luckily Fausto's sweet mom taught me how to make arroz con pollo so I can make it for Fausto anytime he's hungry. Joining us today is my Puerto Rican gal pal, Lola Von Miramar, who out of drag teaches queer Latino studies at the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. Hola, es Lola, y estoy lista para el espectáculo de esta noche. Lola Von Miramar has her own very unique style. If I had done like a workout mashing the mango, maybe I'd be like, woo, and we'll go for three minutes. Hace mucho, mu, 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 mu. There's many different ways to be a fantastic drag queen. Hair, jewels, makeup, personality, humor, and lots and lots of love. I first got into drag in 2010 when my friends from the Feast of Fun, Fausto Fernos and Mark Felian, told me to get a wig, get a dress, and get on the bus and get to Chicago so that we could film a Cooking with Drag Queen episode, How to Make Tostones. That was my first time in drag. Let's make tostones. People had been telling me for years that I would make an excellent drag queen, but I had never taken that step. Lola is no beauty. She is hilarious. Unfortunately, she will probably never make it onto RuPaul's Drag Race. But that doesn't matter because there is space under the sun for all different kinds of drag, even if you're not perfectly polished. Come, over <laughs> Come here, Yanni. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hola. Muchas gracias por invitarme. Hola, Hi. Lola. Hola, soy Lola. Yay. Y hoy vamos a hacer arroz con pollo. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Bien. Good. So, Lola, you got your start as a drag queen right here in Cooking with Drag Queens, making tostones. How to make tostones with cha-cha heels. <laughs> Our very first cooking video that we did with a drag queen yeah. was with Lola. In 2010, it was extraordinary. On this very same counter, Fausto or Saltina Obama Bouvier grabbed some heels and she just smashed those tostones like there was no tomorrow. And they were so delicious. 
and crispy. Mmm, I love tostones. To like, me, every birthday party in Puerto Rico, we always made arroz con pollo and tostones. Ay, qué rico. And for me, I find like you're my soul sister in a lot of ways. Thank you, Fausto. You said, you, I'm your drag mother. Bueno, she doesn't like to recognize it because she thinks I'm not as beautiful as it could possibly be. But I am beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. And chicken! Let's, we have the chicken. So in order to do arroz con pollo the way we like to do it, is we start making a delicious chicken broth first mm -hmm. by mm. boiling the chicken. Well, first, before you even start there, is you really have to be uh, have some fun with your chicken and maybe have your chicken dance. Ooh. Should we have our chicken dance? Yeah. I think that's an excellent idea. <laughs> La la la, chicken, chicken, chicken death. This chicken is gonna be so tender and so delicious. Doing the can can, cha 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 cha. La 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 la. So the great, uh, the best way to start a rose con pollo is start with a broth. You want to make a good chicken base, and so you take your chicken. You submerge it in water and you cook it on the stove for about an hour and a half until it's completely cooked, and then you pull it out. You debone it, and then you put that back into the water, and you cook it for 24 hours. And then the next day, you uh, cook it with uh, some vegetables for about an hour, and then you have wonderful broth. And that's what I have Ay, right here. Also. Look at that wonderful, rich, golden color. It's so dark and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Lola's a classy gal. You might not think so because she's showing her nipple, but she is a classy gal. Here's where I hold all the delicious things that I eat in my apartment. Who wants bland food? I need spicy, spicy, spicy. Lola is a sriracha queen. Let's look and see what I have. Por el gustito yo lo sé. Ya con el mejor café. Nuts. Any kind of nut. It's good for you. I know you have nuts. It's good to eat nuts. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, pan roast the rice. Yeah. You just got to turn it like that. And you put that pan on. And you're gonna about, well, how much rice is this? So that's three cups of rice. Okay, so we put that right into the pan. Now some people like to wash the rice, some people don't. Uh, if you wash the rice ahead of time, you're actually going to be removing some of the starch that's on the outside, making it less sticky. I like sticky rice. And why are you using brown rice? Because brown rice is delicious and healthy. In Puerto Rico, everything is white rice, white rice, white rice. We want to encourage Puerto Ricans to eat healthy because we love you guys and we want to see you around for many years to come. And I also think that brown rice has more flavor to it. There's a nutty quality it to it nutty. that doesn't have. Just like you, Lola, it's nutty. It's nutty. In Puerto Rico, comemos arroz blanco. Uh, typically, you want to kind of like continue uh, browning it a little bit, but not burning it. So that is capers. Okay, how yeah. much? I add the whole thing. And then olives. How much olives? I'd add the whole thing. But Fox okay. doesn't like olives as much as I do. And green olives and capers is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very typical Spanish Latin American food. What does it count? Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. But I, you might want to stop there and we can okay. always add more later because you already added some. Okay. And then also too, you want to add a little bit of sofrito. Sofrito! And it has peppers and also a little ham base in there too. I don't use a lot, but some people use a whole lot. This sofrito is Goya. Si es Goya, sabe mejor. If it's Goya, it tastes better. Ring the bell. Oh. <laughs> and the thing we're is not getting any money from Goya. The thing is though too, it's, it's okay like, to use any brand. Yeah. And then we're gonna put a banana leaf that I got at the Mexican grocery store. And so then we're gonna put a lid on that and we're gonna cook it most of the way through, and then we're gonna add our chicken to that once it's cooked through. Put a lid on it. Ooh. What is your favorite fairy tale? <laughs> Cinderella. Cinderella? Too bad. That's not the one that I am going to read tonight. Lola Von Miramar, for the most part, performs at bars and theaters and uh, for the camera. So I do not live as Lola. I have no interest in teaching or, or going to school as Lola. 
I am a performance studies scholar, so actually I am writing a book about Puerto Rican drag. Performing as Lola has actually added a dimension to my own scholarship. This is a very strange place, very strange things happen here, but why dwell on mystery or the negative? Let's just enjoy it. And how do I know that you're all going to enjoy it? Because there is a bar. There is a bar and there are alcoholic beverages. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is performance art. So we're gonna leave this and let this warm up and let the chicken and the rice kind of mix with each other. Yeah. Now, when you serve this, uh, typically what they serve it with is uh, some pickled, delicious uh, red bell pepper, asparagus, and red onions. But one thing I love to serve with it is my little Spanish style peas. And Lola, the time has come. For what? For you to stir fry for your life. I'm ready. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is get ourselves a nonstick pan. We need some oil, olive oil if you have it. Grapeseed will do, it's healthier. And we're gonna put some, the, some uh, onions and garlic right in there. And we're gonna saute this. So you can kind of see that the, the onions are kind of starting to caramelize and stick to the bottom and the sound starts to change. And instead of putting the chicken broth in, we put in a bag of peas, which is, this is like a, how many ounces, like a pound bag or something? I don't, you know, it's a bag of peas. And throw in some of those spices. Paprika. Get There's the whole thing in there. And now. Beautiful. We stir this and we put in about half a cup of chicken broth. Ooh. Half a cup. Uh -huh. You could also put white wine if you had it. Yeah, if you have some white wine, it adds oh. flavor too. And this makes a great side dish mm. to your arroz con pollo. Fantastico. So, okay, so this is uh, the arroz con pollo is ready to serve and the rice is ready right. and our pickled vegetables but, are ready. So we, they top it off traditionally uh, with, cause you're gonna serve this when you have a big party. Typically you serve it right out of the pot. Lola, would you like to help me decorate it? We can just fan these out like sure. this on here. Absolutely. This is a crucial step. You, you wanna here, let's, let's do it like, like a, a cross hatch. Yeah, like a, cr like ah, a something like that. Lovely. You know? These are quite beautiful. I know, it's such colorful. Well, this looks like abstract art. <laughs> it's like a Jason, uh, Jackson Pollock painting. I think that's great. And so okay. what I like to put right in the center Qué bonito. is a big old thing. Increíble. Oh. And, and then the, we also have a little, yeah, a little cilantro too. Qué precioso. This looks delicious. I can't wait to taste it. And here you have it. Arroz con pollo. Rice with chicken. Mmm, girl, this is good. Bravo. Que rico. Now, one thing I like to also do, if you have some tostones. Mmm, tostones. It's to serve it with tostones, and we plate it like this. So, you plate it, you have arroz con pollo on the side. I like to put a little bit of peas there. And this, and some beans, which we cooked ahead of time. Habichuela colora. Mark, put a little bit of the cilantro and the pickled vegetables, and I'm gonna okay. show you a little secret. So here's a little secret and a little shortcut. If you don't have the time to make tostones, which is a lot of pr preparation, you just buy a bag of fried plantain chips, the green kind, and you just stick that in there as a little... A garnish. A garnish. Platanutre, or chifles. Chifles. And a lot of the white people from the United States will not know the difference. <laughs> this is gorgeous. You could serve this at a four-star restaurant. T taste the uh, arroz con taste. pollo. How did it turn out? Delicious. Mmm. This is really, really good. Well, Lola, I just want to present to you a little special thing because you're such a special drag queen. And so we'd like to present to you a special ribbon of distinction and appreciation. Que lindo! From Cooking with Drag Queens to Lola Von Miramar, Boricua to the max! <laughs> you had us at Hola, Lola. I, I oh. feel like a pageant queen! Oh. You won! You're beautiful, beautiful. Muchas gracias. I have waited for this moment my whole life and I shall treasure this medal 
forever. Can I keep it? Yes. It's, it's engraved. It's engraved with you. Tiene mi nombre. I could scratch it out and give it to the next one. It has problem. my name. <laughs> this is really lovely. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you so oh. much. Thank you, Lola. Remember, your cooking adventure has finished here, but your adventure as a drag queen and as a culinary expert goes on and on. And remember, folks, if you can't cook for yourself, how the hell are you gonna cook for somebody else? Amen! Can I get a bon appetit up in here? Bon appetit! Buen provecho! <laughs> Buen provecho, gracias. 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 Aww. The biggest surprise I discovered when I finally started performing in drag is that it is lots of fun, but also that it is lots of work. So it really is an accomplishment. It is an accomplishment to put that look together, but it is also uh, an incredible experience in terms of having fun and, and just uh, making people happy.